All right, guys, so what we're gonna need today, you're gonna need your piece of nine and a half by 12 and a half piece of cardstock. It's a heavier piece of paper. This is gonna be the outside of your sketchbook, your book cover. You are also gonna need your pack of watercolor sets. There should be a brush that comes inside the watercolor set. And of course, if you have a better brush that you have at home, feel free to use it. And you also need a container. So you can have, um, I'm using an old yogurt cup container. It could be from sour cream. It could be any kind of container that can hold water. That's not gonna leak all of your stuff. Um, see if your family has something recyclable. And if you don't, let's start recycling now. Um, and then uh, you can always just use a cup too. So whatever you use is gonna have paint in it. So just be aware of that. And I'm gonna let you guys go get your materials. Dip my brush into water and then I'm gonna go right into my paint. And you wanna be have water every time you want go into your paint. And a little tip, if you use colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, they will play nice and they will blend not pretty. But if you use colors that are opposite colors on the color wheel, they are going to get um, brown and muddy looking. So colors that are next to each other, so think yellow is next to orange, orange is next to red. I can have purple that's gonna go nice to red. And if you want to dilute it a little bit, meaning make it thinner, just add water. And with watercolor, you kind of need to work fast. If you work too slow, it's going to dry on you. And then it's just, uh, just going to be a little harder to work with. So then up here, I'm going to go to blue. Now, you do not have to do exactly what I'm doing. Not at all. All you have to do is use watercolor on your piece of paper and create a fun abstract design. Abstract means we don't know what it is. So it honestly gives it a little less pressure. You don't have to create this house or this person. You can if you want to, but you definitely do not have to be um, representational. You can just do something fun and play around with brush, brush strokes. And guys, if yours turn out brown, it's okay. Worse comes to worse. If you really screw up, you have one other chance and you can flip over your piece of paper. So you kind of have a one more chance thing. So again, I'm working fast. I'm dipping into the water before I get paint every time. And I get paint anytime my brush, I want, I want more paint on my brush and it starts to get a little dry looking. So I'm just kind of doing this radial design. Radius means you're going in a circle. And again, I'm working fast. And whenever you're done, you're just gonna keep your painting flat and let it dry. You're not gonna tilt it. You can tilt it if you wanna make some cool drips, but you totally do not have to.